Hello everyone, this is Endgame Ox. We're doing a little unboxing and breakdown of the demo. This is Watch Dogs the Complete Edition. This is a special only import version of the game. To start off, there were no updates available since the making of this video, as well as it comes with all the recent DLC and updates right on the disc. This seems to be the complete, ultimate complete edition of the Watch Dogs game, the original first one. I want to inform you though that if you do have a save file from the original vanilla version of the game, that save file will not transfer over to this one. I went and tested to make sure to double check and everything like that and sadly I could not port it over. So if you buy this version, you will have to start over. But you do get all the recent uploaded content, the expansions and stuff like that, as well as the other little content outfits and everything, and even the special guns and everything. So this is a pretty good addition to buy if you are a fan of the original first vanilla version of the game, or if you're interested to go into it as your first go into Watch Dogs, which is for me. This was actually the first time I ever played Watch Dogs, and... For the most part, I actually kind of enjoyed myself. Now, if everyone knows me, I'm not the biggest in open world games. And they're not really my kind of forte. But, for the most part, I was really enjoying the hacking and the ability to alter stuff and everything like that. And cause main effects to happen as well as to hack other people's phones and get information as well as the ability to like stop crimes and see incidences and prevent them and everything like that it brought a lot of I don't know a feel to the game and it felt a little bit more deeper and richer than other games out there with open world but I did experience some bugs and issues here and there nothing game breaking or anything that prevented me from progressing but I did notice like sometimes a uh, character is like floating or anything like, I went to a store, and I was I, the guy spoke English, but when I left the store, he spoke in some other language. Which, I, I don't know if there's a, that's a problem in the pr uh, original vanilla version or anything like that, but it just seemed kind of jarring at times and kind of funny. I am glad to see this game does support a, pretty many languages out there. I did go through the options menu, you could check that out. As well as, if you go to the additional content, which you saw in the video, it shows you every DLC that's available it's on the disc right then and there. And as you can see, the game offers quite a bit. As well as, I enjoyed the phone and everything like that, and getting like calling in a car and stuff like that to get in real quick but some little things seem a little weird to me like let's say hacking a bank account you get a get someone's bank account information get uh all their uh, account information and be able to go to a nearest atm and get their money withdrawal now what seemed weird to me is that that's not considered bad to the community there is a reputation in the game and every time you do something it will sway from good to ba uh, rebel or something like that and that's how the public views the vigilante and to me it seems a little weird that you can hack people's bank accounts and people don't look at that as being a bad or anything like that i don't know about you if someone stole money from my bank account i wouldn't care if it's vigilante okay, or not he did something bad but i wish the game would a little bit more emphasized on that let's see how you as the hacker play the game and how other people are going to view you as a hacker or hackers in general it does have a bit of a darker theme to it than i've heard that i've heard from the second one now i've never played the second one but i heard that the first one here is a little bit more darker than the second one now i don't know what for the most part i can see how it has this darker atmosphere to it as well as like i said with the name the hacking teams and stuff like that and about how information is being coming easy and easier for us to get information about people and how more digital things are becoming more and more as we all know and just in the gaming industry as well how things are becoming more digital as well as i really enjoyed when you hop into cars you were able to unlock more cars to call as well as you were able to like look in the glove department and find more uh how do you say resources or uh money so like i said it gave every uh, thing you did gave you a little bit more purpose to it than just feel like it was just there. Like I said, like looking at people's phones and information, you could find out biographs about them. So it made every NPC feel like alive as a person. Like I said, for the most part, I was actually enjoying this open world game a little bit more, if not a lot more, than a lot other open world games that people really enjoyed. Because like I said, just running around or driving around, it felt like there was something always I could do or going on. Now, it's not perfect. Like I said, it still, it still gets repetitive and boring for me really quickly. And as well as, the, it's just not my type of game. But for what I've played in the past and what I've seen in other games, this one's definitely going to be on my higher list of ones I have to recommend in open world design. As well as, come on, you get this complete edition, it comes with all the content on disc. How can you go wrong with that? But, for the most part, Watch Dogs was actually 
pretty good. I know a lot of people will sit there and say it's a really bad game, or they got all about the graphics downgrade and stuff like that than what they showed in E3, but I'm willing to push that all to the side. It's all about the game to me, and for the most part, it delivered what it was supposed to be, as well as it brought more light to a subject about how hackers are becoming more and more accessible of our personal information or other information out there in the world, or security and safety and all that other stuff. So it had its both, it hit its... It hit what it aimed at perfectly, in my opinion. Whether it's a good game, it's really just about opinion. It's up to you. For me, I was enjoying it. I think I'm really glad I had this in my collection. I really recommend it since it comes with all the content. And if you are interested in getting the game, I really recommend this version since it comes with everything. Now, again, I will leave links down in the description if you're interested in the copy, which, again, I recommend. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye-bye! <laughs>